We welcome you to the Ogono Art Family. Thanks for tuning in. In this video, we're going to be discussing why are we more creative at night or when we're taking a shower and how we can reproduce these effects in our daily lives. And so generally, a lot of people are st really strict in their ideas. They tend to be very picky in the ideas that they want. And so when we're in the shower or when we're our sleep uh, our pickiness tends to you know dissipate because we're open to various other venues of you know creative you know pathways and so when we have in our mind that an idea has to happen one way or an event has to happen one way we tend to limit the the possibilities of you know creative pathways that we can have or creative pathways that could come to us because we're so focused on that one thing that one pathway and so when we are uh, you know taking a shower or when we're sleeping we don't necessarily care about you know the mission or whatever idea we want to get or perhaps you know we do care about we do care about it perhaps the right term is to say you know we're, we're not trying as hard you know and you're not supposed to try so hard it's supposed to come in fluently naturally and so when we're trying so hard it goes back to the resistance mindset and with resistance that, that will lead to a lot of stress and overthinking and etc there's a there's a reason why i feel you know children or toddlers they have a much more easier time to retain information and to learn as opposed to adults it's because you know children are, are a lot freer in their expression and so as we grow older we tend to be more controlling more strict and you know so as we grow old, older we tend to lose that freedom of thought that we had as as children and not to mention that society is is built on this controlling nature we as humans they we adapt to that controlling nature and people start to lose touch of their childhood innocence now there are some people that are still in tune with their childhood innocence and whatnot and there are some people who you know they lost touch of it and they take the they take life so seriously and so as opposed to seriousness be open to uh, playfulness with playfulness it allows a lot more exper experimentation and fluidness with, with seriousness it's really constricted you know so when you're going to sleep you're in a sense it's kind of playful you're being a lot more loose as opposed to taking it serious when you're over analyzing something to come up with and so what are some practical things you can do to reproduce the effects to get your ideas flowing one tip i'd say is to get comfortable doing nothing so don't get on the phone don't you know don't uh, don't text or get off the computer just sit in the bed and just do nothing while you're doing nothing you start to let your mind wander and you start to you know be random you don't have to be so strict on doing nothing though because that's also a trap of doing this being strict on doing nothing but you want to you know you want to just let your mind wander sit there let your mind wander um make weird noises if you must and so the main idea or the main concept is to be free and so another tip to help you guys is meditation now meditation is you know it can be seen as you know letting your mind wander but not exactly it, meditation is like a, a much more different style of doing nothing so with meditation you can do this for five minutes and you can play some soothing music or you know listen to your environment while you're closing your eyes you know you can do this you don't have to be in the pose or anything to you know do this meditative thing but the point of meditation is to get yourself into the present moment you know and so what you want to do is while you're meditating uh close your eyes and just listen to the environment listen to the birds chirping listen to the fan you know listen to everything going on in your environment become present and so after you come out of a meditation and you're all chilled it tends to have a a lasting effect throughout your your day and it depends on how long you're meditating for and if you'd like to take your meditations to the next level you can go out into nature and uh, you know just listen to the birds and 
the grass and whatnot, the people walking by. You know, we could just sit there listening and being present. And so with meditation, this will train your mind to be free. You'll have reduced stress and etc. And this will help with the creative process. And lastly, another tip is how's the feng shui of your room or your desk? Because I know, I know me personally, when I tend to have a lot of pens or paper on the desk, my mind tends to have a lot of clutter. I, my mind just tends to like feel very cluttered. However, when I have like a much more cleaner space, I tend to not think as much. And so like my environment, my environment tends to uh, reflect how I am internally. So sometimes I have a clean desk. Other times I have an unexpectedly, you know, cluttered desk. And it's as if my papers have babies. And so for a recap, a wandering mind meditation and I forgot the third one. So that will be the video. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. And consider subscribing to the family. So you can hit that. And don't forget to uh, hit the, the red bell button for to get notified for when I upload every Saturday. So when you click that, you'll see this. You can click the chat box to send the notifications for you. And then just save it. I also provide you guys a uh, discord or a place to chat my discord will be available in the link down below i provide references you know for anyone that want to you know look into it you know so i have references for you know ears breasts you know front torso back torso etc and including hands as well and this is where you can you know just chat with a family and you can share your artwork here etc that's just the basis of the discord check it out whatnot and that'll be the video. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.